Hello everybody and happy November. Today is November 2nd and we're here at Magic Kingdom and I am sure that some of you can guess why. And if you guessed that Magic Kingdom has switched over from Halloween to holiday decorations, ding, 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 you're correct. So we're gonna check out the beautiful Christmas and holiday decorations. Starbucks has also released their holiday food and drinks and there's a bunch of new stuff and I have a little special surprise plan too. Let's go get holly jolly, bring in the season. Let's just kick it off with a fun day at Magic Kingdom and, and surprises. Check this out. The signage for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is up and honestly it starts really, really soon. That's exciting, let's catch the monorail. Just scanned in and here's our first look at the first little bits of holiday decorations at Magic Kingdom for 2023. Walt Disney is celebrating 100 years of wonders. So we've got the 100 medallion there. We've got Mickey in the front here. He had a Halloween costume on just like two days ago. Now he's all red and green and cute. Walt Disney World Railroad train on the tracks. I love it. And this? is just the start because there's so much more and it's so pretty. As we're about to enter Main Street USA, we can see this garland covered in fruit. It's got pineapple and oranges, what, maybe pears, peaches. All right, let's enter. Oh my goodness. I don't know why and I don't know about you, but just seeing this gets me emotional in a really happy way. The bells are ringing. The grapes and fruits of welcoming and hospitality. I'm gonna go up to the second level of the train station so that we can get a view from above. Look at how pretty. The train station's decorated. Velvety red bows. And let's get a look from up here. Wow, today definitely feels a lot more crowded than my last visit here. And I can already see trim and garland and I can see the Mickey wreaths on the light poles, replacing the Mickey pumpkins. It's not like insanely crowded, but it's definitely more crowded than last time I was here. We can see each building has slightly different decorations, but there's definitely a tropical bright theme. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to go down there and look at it all up close. I just wanted to come up here and get that view from above and kind of like, I don't know, there's nothing like it. It's, it's really special. And on the train platform, you can see the garland and the back of the 100 sign. That's cool. It's so cheerful and bright. Man, <laughs> I love the season in Florida. Let's start at the Main Street Chamber of Commerce. Look at these luxurious bows. Oh my goodness, they're red and gold. <sighs> but little bits of chestnuts and twigs. Oh, I love it. Oh, and pine cones too. People, partnerships, and progress are keys to the world. Aww. And then right next door is City Hall. This is a gorgeous building. And between the Chamber of Commerce and City Hall, they have wreaths that have gingerbread cookies and candy canes, this is all sweets. You have to kind of get up close to notice the differences, but the attention to detail is just incredible. And the first Disney Christmas tree of the season, and there are actually two of them, right here back by City Hall. And this wreath, it's a Mickey wreath. Look at how pretty, they have full on, full sized nutcrackers, gingerbread cookie ornaments, frosted Christmas cookie ornaments. Oh my gosh, those are beautiful. I do have some of those gingerbread cookie ornaments, but these are way cooler than the ones I have. Now I'm gonna have to look for more. He is a gingerbread with a hot cocoa on top of his head nutcracker. Are you kidding me? Look at the train, gingerbread train. 
Well, this is an awesome, wonderful start to the day. Usually they wait until a little bit later to put up the full Christmas tree that goes right in the middle of the entrance as you come in to Main Street USA, but there are some Christmas trees up already, a lot of decorations, there's new merchandise in the store. I just know it. We saw a lot of it at Hollywood Studios recently, but there's more. And it's brand new for 2023, and I don't know, I just got a glimpse of it, and I'm gonna show you. And I need a Starbucks too, so I'm excited. City Hall is the home of guest relations, lost and found, you can get birthday buttons here, and all sorts of things. And City Hall, such a timeless, beautiful building, capturing the Main Street America vibe. And I just talked to a cast member and they told me something so cool and interesting. See, these are just slightly different. They have these sort of white trellis decorations in the middle that match the decorations on the windows. The fire station, so pretty, but look inside, even prettier. Look, oh, it's just like, almost Victorian, turn of the century. Look, fire trucks! And a little fireman Santa. Oh, that's cool. I'm telling you, the detail's amazing. when they first came out. So many things keep happening, so before I forget to tell you, I have noticed that Disney will put up the first bits of the Christmas decorations the day after the last Halloween party, which was last night, November 1st. But they usually wait a day or so to put up the Christmas tree, and a cast member just told me that they have to wait 24 hours after they put up all the garland on Main Street USA because the garland team has to be clear. They have to be done, cleared out of the way with all their equipment and stuff before they can put up the massive Christmas tree. And the Christmas tree is huge, amazing, impressive, incredible. It is a feat of wonder and we'll see that very, very soon. But for now, there's just so much more to see, so let's keep going. That's just so vintage, classic. Florida, just everything Main Street USA perfect. And now, Dapper Dan's are performing. And the Emporium, you know the Emporium is not gonna let us down. Look at how gorgeous. You can hear the Dapper Dan's. Let's go watch them for a minute. And folks, we are here to sing for you. You're here to listen to us. And I hope that we get them first. <laughs> my little Margie, oh, I always think of you, Margie. Through the leaves of red and fair of beauties, on the island, lost for the lake. Take it, Potter, tell me I have lost to be your place. Over here at the confectionery, there's a lot more gold and sparkle and these golden bells. Silver bells. <laughs> it's so nice to look at these while hearing the Dapper Dance. These are so pretty. I don't know if you can see, but the lights are already lit. How pretty! There are different flowers on the front and the back side. See, they're like pink flowers on the back and blue and red on the front. into the Main Street Bakery, AKA Starbucks, was packed. I saw on the menu they have grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup, which is one of my favorite things. And at Disneyland they have this at Jolly Holiday and it's the best ever. I'm not gonna try to compare this to that, but I'm excited to see this here. They told me it's not new. I just happen to have never seen it. But now I'm just waiting for my drink. So hopefully that comes soon. 
before this gets cold. All right, that was a whole thing. Starbucks on Main Street USA is usually busy. There's usually a line, so just pack your patience and wait. Uh, but the drink took significantly longer than the sandwich. So I was holding the sandwich and I could feel it warming my hands, getting cooler and cooler. So I'm gonna cut it a little slack that it probably tasted better when it was super fresh and hot. And it's still warm, but not hot. But I'm still excited to dig in. Oh, mosquito, go away! There's not supposed to be mosquitoes at Disney. <laughs> One thing I was really excited about when I left the apartment this morning was I was like, I'm gonna get my Starbucks and I'm gonna sit on the hub grass and I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful day, and that's just what I'm doing. Now, it would be a lot nicer if they had cut the sandwich in half, but they didn't. So I'm gonna handle that. There we go. And the cheese is not, again, as melty as it could be, but it still looks pretty good. Now the ultimate test, the dip test. really good. The tomato soup is sweet and tangy and the grilled cheese is good. Definitely, obviously wish it was hotter, but it's still really good. The bread is thick. It's got three layers of cheese. I'm so happy this exists and this is going to be definitely my hubgrass go-to snack. Time to try this gingerbread. What did I get? I got something weird. I got an iced gingerbread oat milk chai latte. Normally when it comes to holiday drinks, I am a peppermint mocha girl. I always get peppermint mocha, but it's really, you know, it's warm out. So I wanted to try something different. I knew I was getting grilled cheese and soup, so let's try it. This is brand new for this year. It said on the sign and let's, let's give it a go. Very faint gingerbread taste, but I can taste it in there. And I love a chai latte, so yeah, it's good. Not super Christmassy, but it's good. The piano player at Casey's is playing a Christmas song. He's playing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I love a hubgrass picnic. <laughs> this is the best. This is delicious. Whoa, wind! I'll tell you what, if you've never had a little picnic in the hubgrass, this is your sign to do it. I hear the Main Street Philharmonic. Where are they? I hear them. There they are. The castle hub is beautiful, all decorated, filled with people, very fun atmosphere. It looks like the Festival of Fantasy Parade is right about to begin, so let's watch some of it. I'll give you a little montage, because it's a very beautiful parade. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. You are warmly invited to join Mickey Mouse and his fantasy land friends for a magical celebration in the streets. Dreams will come true, hearts will soar, and you will become a part of the magic for the time has come to take your places and prepare to welcome the wondrous and wonderful Disney Festival of Fantasy Parade!
Festival of Fantasy Parade is a great way to see a ton of classic characters in one sitting. And it's really fun, really beautiful, very classic. Afterwards, the hub will be, you know, pretty crowded for a little bit, but in just a few minutes, it'll clear out. And I want to show you the Christmas decorations around the castle because it's, there's just nothing like this. What I tell ya, I just waited a few minutes and look how this cleared out. Just tucked right up in there on the trim is covered with holiday decor as well. You can kind of see it from back here. Yay! Oh my God, they're playing Christmas songs. Philharmonic starts playing holiday songs, you know it's time. Okay, I'm preparing myself. It may be chaos in here, I don't know. But let's pop into the Emporium and see what they've got. So we have still got the Halloween display up for now, right here at least. Let's see what else they got. Okay, we've got everything that we've seen and more, a lot more. Many new things that I have not seen before that are brand new out for today. I love this sort of peppermint mini sweater. This is so pretty, 70 for that. I love this just simple Walt Disney World holiday design shirt, $39.99. And this is really pretty too, delivering the magic with the ladies. Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck. It's a kind of a softer material. Here are those Mickey snowman ears. One is winking. I couldn't figure out what was going on with the eye in the other store because it was too crowded, but that's really, really cute. I love it. These are $29.99. I don't know. I might get them. They're really weird. I'm noticing a new Christmas hat. Haven't seen this one. I love a, just a very simple design like this. It's just Mickey, you know? I love a hat like this. And hats are a must here in Florida when you're out in the sun all the time. Like, it's just a must. What do we got here? $29.99, $30 for this hat. I'm thinking about it. Look at this Alice in Wonderland mug and coaster collection. Well, it's more than Alice in Wonderland. We got Stitch, we got Dumbo. <gasps> it's like a full on fantasy land. Ooh, that's what they're doing this Christmas. They're going full on fantasy land. Oh, look at this cute beanie. Everything has a very classic feel to it too. These are kids hats. Here's some other New Year's. Saw them in the Christmas store, but seeing them here. And they're kind of a black sort of patent leather looking with a shiny golden bow, $39.99 for those. Ooh, another, a long sleeve shirt. Not a spirit jersey, but just a long sleeve. North Pole cotton candy. All right, we do have our first hot cocoa and candy cane. Is that like the flavor of the cotton candy? Neat, our first holiday treats out. There's just an absolute ton, there's so much. And look at these, how pretty that is. Look at these new ears too. I just love plaid. 
just like red and green plaid, buffalo plaid, anything that's kind of like a winter Christmas plaid. I have a feeling I'm gonna see a lot of these ears at Jollywood Nights, right? Because they kind of match that sparkly vibe that's going on there. A lot of adorable and wonderful kids' clothes. Hmm. I'm gonna get a little Mickey hat with ears, nice. And, oh my goodness, holiday plushes, little Santa hats and outfits. A bunch of different characters all dressed up. Look at Stitch. Oh my gosh, so cute. And the new holiday magic band is out. Let's see, let's try to take a look at those details. It's kind of got that fantasy land, a ton of different characters having a holly jolly holiday time vibe. The Disney lounge fly, which we've seen now, this is in all the parks now. And another little Christmas tree. How fun. I love ornaments like this. Just vintage reindeer. Oh my goodness. Look at this plaid. Part of it's velvet. Oh my goodness. 78, beautiful. It matches the ears, which yes, I am getting. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna use mobile checkout to buy some ears because it's just easier that way. All right, so you go into the app and you go to merchandise mobile checkout. Mama got snacks. Then you pick the store, so we're in the Emporium. Scan an item, adding the bag. It will automatically add your passholder discount as long as you're signed in 20% off. That makes a huge difference. Huge. Ding. Now when I check out, I just show the code as I'm walking out. They'll give me a bag if I need it, and I'm good. And there'll be signs that tell you where they are, and you just find this that says mobile checkout. And done. And if you have your own bag, it can fit in, which I normally would fit it in my bag, but the ears, I don't want to squish them. I'll give you a bag. You just check out. Done. You have the receipt digitally, and um, it's great, you avoid waiting in line if you don't need to. As I make my way through the store, I see more and more and more. That rhymed. There's just tons and tons of holiday merch, brand new. All right, this one's kind of funny. Starbucks got a sense of humor. Remember, these cups are always so popular, the big versions. You can get an ornament version. Add a little fun to your holidays. That's funny, I like it, it's cute. Uh, $20. What's crazy is you can get the full-size one for 30. Some of them are more expensive, but right now, some are 30. They are very pretty. So they're clearly still setting up and putting more out, which I can't even imagine how much more there is, but I guess there's a lot more. Wow. They also have this line that's kind of more subtle home goods. Classy vibes. Every year I do a gingerbread tour around the Disney resorts and they're already building and it looks like nearly done with the very famous beloved Grand Floridian gingerbread house. So let's take a look at the construction and where they are and it looks like they might be giving out samples. Let's find out. There are tons of people here watching. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. As much as I have visited this, I don't think I've ever watched them in the process of making it. How cool, wow. And they're just like 
It's open so you can watch the construction, watch some building. Those are all gingerbread shingles. This is so neat. There's like a line of people in the front here watching everything. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh no, thank you. Listen, we'll always hear about Chippendale, but thank you. That's awesome, so you can get samples. Ah, let me get to the side here, this is crazy. The chefs and everyone working on it are chatting with guests. Everyone's having a great time. People are watching it and they're giving out samples of the gingerbread shingles. These are my favorites. The chocolate covered ones. I'm so excited. Delicious, the best. <laughs> but they're gonna work on this every day and it opens in just a few days. Well, like next week, I think. And um, it's a huge effort. The bakery chefs bake all the gingerbread. Look, she's putting up decorations right now. And you can get samples. Oh my gosh, they're delicious. So, so nice. Awesome. Getting to watch the process is so cool and everyone is loving it. There are people gathered all around. They're giving out gingerbread samples. You can see this lift that they use to get to higher spots. Oh my gosh, this is just awesome. So cool, it's like trick or treating. This is awesome. So sparkly. I wish I could have a go at it. <laughs> I'd reach in there, give it a stir. I think they're doing a little homage to Disney 100 Years of Wonder with all the platinum this year. They're actually still working. They're putting on little decorations. And you can always find little hidden Mickeys, right? And little characters all over. So there's a hidden Mickey right there. They're platinum this year, or silver. Let's go upstairs around the perimeter and just get a few more looks at them working on it. And yes, I will be back once it's open. Because once it's open, it becomes a little shop filled with all sorts of holiday treats. Not just gingerbread, but their gingerbread is the best. The best around. And the Contemporary will have a gingerbread house too. And the other resorts will have gingerbread things too that I show you every year. And yes, I will again this year. But I just thought it was a neat little fun surprise and something different to watch it being made this year. So let's get some more views of it and then we'll head home. Okay, I'm up on the second floor and we can get a kind of bird's eye view from up here and see them working on things. They're having fun. It just fills my heart with happy. And the gentleman up in the front is giving out samples and people are loving it. Disney keep doing this, please. This makes it so homey. It makes us feel like part of things. It makes us feel cool, like we're getting to see something neat and behind the scenes. And it makes people appreciate the effort and detail and care and talent and skill it takes to put this massive gingerbread house together. Wow, ah, the door opens. So we know like the cashier is going to see the little baked stuff on the tray that they're putting all over. We know like the cashiers go in there and merchandise goes in there, but it's cool to see the door open. Got the piano player. So there is some wood underneath there, of course. There's some framework. But then there's just covered in baked stuff and decorations and cool stuff. And I love hearing the piano playing in the Grand Floridian lobby. gingerbread construction there's actual construction going on all over the Grand Floridian right now so hopefully that'll be done soon well they're just working on it non-stop I kind of thought they were wrapping up but they're not they just keep on working and working I could stay here all day watching this but I think it's time to hop on the monorail and head back to the ticket and transportation center where I'm parked it's hard to go y'all I want to stay here. I want to stay here and soak every moment of this in. <sighs> Big sigh. Big sigh. You can see them inside the windows of the gingerbread house working on it. Okay, one more. One more look. It's time to go.
we made it around the Grand Circle Tour and we're back at the Ticket and Transportation Center. I'm just so happy to have seen the very first day, the first look at the holiday decorations here at Magic Kingdom. We got a little bit of a peek of them at Hollywood Studios the other day and at Universal's Islands of Adventure Park. Their holiday decorations are beautiful and I made a video about that too. So I'll link those if you want to like get these sneak peek first looks, get in the holiday vibe, see what the parks are like and then we always do extra things, maybe some rides, some food, some fun, you know, come to the parks. There's stuff, there's always stuff going on to see and do shows. Just atmosphere, beautiful, I love it. I am feeling this feeling in the air. I don't know about you, but I feel like a lot of us are ready for the holiday season this year. I just feel like there's something in the air and we're just like, just bring it on. Just bring on the cheery and bright. And I know Thanksgiving is first for Americans. You know, Thanksgiving is, is an American holiday. So that is first. Uh, but, you know, I think we're all ready for just a general holiday vibe in the air. Let me know if you agree with me and also if you're going to be doing any special holiday events. Not just the Disney, but any of the parks. Thank you for hanging out with me today to get a look at the holiday decorations at Magic Kingdom. Tons and tons of brand new merchandise this year. The collection is very cartoony, vibrant, fun. I don't know, I like it. It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. And of course, the fun little extra surprise of hopping on the monorail and heading to the Grand Floridian Resort to see the building and construction of their world famous gingerbread house. I don't know if it's world famous, but I know it's very beloved by Disney and Disney World fans, and I don't know, we just love it. And I don't know if I mentioned, I may have been so overwhelmed in the moment that I forgot to mention that the lobby smelled like gingerbread and it smelled amazing. It smelled so intoxicating, it was so good. And the gingerbread there is delicious, it's my favorite. Thanks again, I am sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video, and until then, as always, stay enthused, bye.